Okay, I have put uh, some butter and some pink sea salt on that, and I'm just going to put that together. I'm going to wrap it in a paper towel, and I'm going to put that in the vacuum bag, and I'm going to cook it. It says on the <coughs> excuse me little uh, chart that seafood should be 125 degrees for about 30 minutes. Mine happens to still be frozen, so I'm going to cook it a little longer, and I don't think that that's going to hurt anything. But in the meantime, uh, I have been, uh, let's just say, singing the praises of sous vide cooking uh, since I discovered this. And I got uh, some baby red potatoes. I got crab legs. I don't know what I'm going to do with those things, if they're going to even work. Talk about sharp stuff. Um, I'm dry aging some New York strips, four of them, about an inch and three quarter inch thick. I got a bunch of cod fillets and I've got uh, asparagus and broccoli. I don't think I'll probably sous vide the asparagus. I'm just gonna, you know, do that quick in a hot pan and put a little char on it. <clears throat> but I'm really excited to see how the potatoes, onions, and a little salt and pepper and butter work out on that too. It should be phenomenal. So in the meantime, I'm making my lobster. This is just for me, nobody's even here. Uh, listening to Lance Wall now on YouTube, which I do often, and uh, I'm ready to go. I'm going to let her buck and put some lemon juice on there, and I'll uh, kind of show this to you, obviously, as I go, like I've been doing, um, but that's the, the next uh, step in the progression right now. So this is actually coming down in temp a little bit, but it'll cool off once I put that uh, nice cold lobster tail in there. 